about the 21 mile mark moving through Limehouse here in London, the capital of the UK. And listen to that noise. And that's the LGBTQIA plus community giving Kelvin Kipton all of their energy. And Kelvin Kipton, he's stopped looking behind. He's stopped looking at that watch. Jeffrey Kamomura of Kenya trying to make it a one two here for Kenya. We thought Amos Kiprutu, the defending champion, would be the big threat. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Kamomura is giving himself every shot of getting back onto Kelvin Kipton if anything goes wrong for the man that's pushing off the front. I tell you what is interesting, Hannah, is how many of these guys could Emil Caress potentially get close to? As this, you know, field at the front starts to splinter and as they slow down, you know, they've still got a good 20, 25 minutes worth of running in their legs. Emil Caress is moving his way forward. He's on around 2-7 pace and they are moving back. So that is going to be an interesting story to develop as well. The women are just about making their way onto Birdcage Walk. We have got four women definitely in contention as Sheila Chepkaruri of Kenya, a late entrant into this race. She was denied the visa required to race Boston last week. And she's really doing everything she can to get onto these top four. But I think the pace is going to lift even more. And we could see four women fighting out for three positions. But Yalamsef Yahalu, Alemo Magurtu, and, Yal and uh, Perez Chepchachir. They they've got to go and they've got to get this pace going because Safan Hassan has got speed for days. Alemo Magurtu is the first woman to break. She has up their pace. They're probably around about 800 meters to go now. Magurtu with an injection of pace and last year's champion, the youngest ever winner of the London Marathon, Yalamsef Yahalu, is not going to make it a fairy tale defense. She is the first casualty of this group. But Alema Magatu, that seemed like a, a, spurt, a, a spurt of speed. Now she's just backed off ever so slightly. Jep Kariri closed that gap. And surely, apologies, Jep Chachir, apologies, Jep Chachir is the athlete going into the lead now. And surely the Kenyan Olympic champion, she has got to go now. It is now or never. Absolutely, now and ever. Hassan just almost bided a time, let it happen. And that is the experience from the track, that tactical genius that she is on the track. And we can see 600 metres to go. She's never been here in a marathon, though. That is the big point here. She's so used to being in the mix on the track time and time again. It's going to be a burn up over the last 600 metres. Jep Chia Chia, Olympic champion over the marathon. She knows how to get across that finish line first. Magoto is first to go. Has she went a little bit too soon? Yahalu is out of it. It's between these three. My money is on Hassan. You cannot bet against the Olympic champion over 5,000 and 10,000, but maybe you can when she's up against the Olympic marathon champion, Paris Chepchachir, in the middle of that group. Alemu Magurtu, that injection of pace has reduced this group down to three and has surely got the Ethiopian on the podium. But can she have another burst of speed here? Safan Hassan grimaces for the first time. Here is the first of the tight right-hand turns. They've all navigated it absolutely fine. If they look over to the left-hand side, they will see Buckingham Palace, but they might not have any energy or any focus on anything except the bodies around them. Alemo Magurtu again pushing to the front. She was third here last time round. She won Seville last year, and she is having a bid to win the London Marathon. She's been running marathons for six years, Alemo Magurtu, under 220 for the first time last year, but surely the charge is going to come from Safan Hassan. They're going to pass the 200 meter mark to go, and that is very comfortable territory for the Dutch woman, Safan Hassan. She's cut off there a bit by Jep Chachir. Alemo Magurtu tries to kick again, but here goes Safan Hassan, the track specialist on her marathon debut. We knew she had speed to turn on when she was ready. What a day for Safan Hassan. Drama around about an hour in with a hit niggle. And yet she's clawed her way back into this group. She looks as surprised as the rest of us. Safan Hassan on her marathon debut takes the title on the streets of London. 2.18.33, shock all over her face. What a performance and what a day. Could this be the start? of a marathon career for Safan Hassan. She was intimidated but curious and she has come away with the win in a high quality field. She has beaten some of the best women marathoners 
in modern times and she looks absolutely delighted. Wow. I'm speechless. I think she looked as surprised as I did when she was running down that mile because she went through a roller coaster of a ride to get herself to that finish line. But it is inspiration for anyone watching at home. Never, ever, 